Hello everyone, I'm BillyG456 and this is a kit review. We're doing Cultivator today. So the kit name is Cultivator. Uh, the kit type is a power kit, so you don't actually get any special items. You have an ability which you can use. Uh, the ability of which is an inst you can instantly grow wheat and saplings. So when I plant a some like some seeds on tilled grass, they'll instantly grow to wheat. And you can punch that and you'll get the chance of you know, uh, zero to three wheat, and I think it's zero to three, same as seeds. Um, yeah, so uh, this is starter game, and um, at the moment, obviously, you need to get saplings and seeds, which is very, very annoying. One of the most, one of the biggest things I hate about this kit is that if you don't get saplings or seeds, you're like incredibly unlucky. Then you, you, you have to go and get them like late game when invincibility is worn up, went off, and everyone's out to kill you which sucks, um, so it's best to try and get your seeds now, which is a real setback, because instead of just worrying about getting far away from spawn and maybe getting some dirt, you have to worry about the added complication of getting seeds, getting sapling, getting wood, and getting getting dirt, and getting away from all the players who are trying to take exactly what you're trying to get in. And one of the uh, most annoying things about cultivators is that they're such, they're the biggest target, because since this is probably the only this is the only kit that has a good supply of food on them at all times so a barbarian that's starving uh he's almost going to die they're going to like is any cultivators nearby and if you're stupid enough to say yes then you're a target and if you die and you give your enemy a bunch of wheat and bread then they're probably going to win because trust me a lot of people in these games starve which is equally as annoying uh, which is actually quite, well, unless you're on the cultivator when you'll survive, which is nice. Um, yeah, so you get wood, obviously at the beginning. One of the most important tools you need to make is a, a wooden or stone hoe. Don't make an iron one. I mean, you're really, you only really want an iron sword. Um, so I've made, I'm getting under now, I want to get some dirt. I'm running away as soon as invincibility warns off. So this is me showing off now. So, sorry if it's a bit dark. I didn't have any torches at the moment. Um... Yeah, so I put my crafting table down, you want to get some dirt. I advise seeing, concealing yourself in a hole so your wheat doesn't fly everywhere. Um, which is, yeah, so look, this is me crafting my home. One thing to say is that this kit is so, so, so useful in a team and in Sky Tower. Even both. See, this is what that is. When you're on a team, all your other teammates can go chameleon or barbarian or stomper or vampire, any kit they want. And so long as they have a cultivator, they will be able to stay alive and they'll be able to keep you alive and everything. And in Sky Tower, when which is the tactic where you go very, very high in the sky and away from anyone else, most of the time if you're not a cultivator, you're just gonna starve up there. End of. But if you're a cultivator you can make so much wheat and unlimited trees, which is a bit difficult because you have to worry about seeds trees and dirt to get up. So this example, uh, just me though, in this time, um, example of using cultivator in a sky tower. So, um, yeah, so I'm a little, this is just quick, so I make some dirt platform, and as you can see, plant the sapling, instant growth. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's very fine that they're trees. And just to say, when someone's building over to you in a sky tower, and a tower of like a pillar made of dirt, literally, you just place a sapling where they're standing, opens up, pushes them off. It's brilliant. Easy kills, everything. It's also, it's not very good in combat, but it is useful in combat. What I mean by that is that, what I mean by that is, is that when you plonk down a sapling, obviously it instantly grows, so when you're getting chased, you can literally turn around, plonk a sapling down, and it's in their way. Um, so this is what, start, this is my review of the starter game. Starter game, not so good. I mean, you have to worry about wood, coal, um, so you have to, it's uh, I'm giving it a one, which is a coal on my scale. Um, so you have to worry about seeds, dirt, saplings, you to, and wood. You have to worry about all that, trying to get your tools and trying to get obviously away from spawn. It's very very difficult. And then it's combat. See, I'm giving it a three because though you can't really kill people with it, it's very good in places like sky tower, so knocking people off of trees. And uh, holding people back when you're getting chased, it pretty much just stops them. So long as that, uh, me dying in the background there. Um, and late game, 
it's not very useful either. I mean, as soon as you're given your team wood and wheat, what else are you going to do? I mean, then again, if you're like in top 10 and you're getting chased, saplings, yes, are going to help, but not nearly as much if you're both in full line. Teamwork, 100% 5, probably the best kit for teamwork, the best kit for teamwork. You can give everyone wheat, everyone food, it's brilliant. Anyway, guys, this is my kit review by Billy G456. I'm out.